I'm on Google, you can search MySQL. And from here, go to the website, the first one, MySQL. And from there, click on Downloads. Scroll down, click on MySQL Community GPL Downloads. Here you can see MySQL installer on Windows. I am using Windows 11, so you can see. Click on it, I'll select Microsoft Windows. And from here, select this second file. Click on Download. And if you want, you can log in or sign up here. I don't want to do that. So I'll click on no thanks, just start my download. So my download will start. I actually already have that star, uh, downloaded. I just wanted to show, the, show you the process. So this is where it was downloaded. So let's click on, on it and click on yes. Again, click yes. MySQL installer. Now from here, select what you want to download. I'll go ahead and select custom download option and click on next. Now I need to download MySQL Server, Workbench and Shell. So for that, I need to click on this plus button and it will unclick. It will load the underlying folders. Again, click on plus and then click on plus again and click here and send it to this window by clicking here again go to applications do the same for workbench this is workbench send it to the second window again let's do it for the shell click here send it to this window and now you just need to click on next and execute this or in other words install these by clicking on execute so these are downloading you can see the progress right away okay so we are done with the installation let's click on next from here it says mysql server 8.0 ready to configure so let's do that click on next these are our ports tcp ip and protocol port leave everything as is and click on next again use strong password encryption for authentication so we'll do that let's click on next here you need to put the password make sure it is a strong password i'll use the one that i use for my other stuff and it is strong so i have chosen my password it says password strength medium that's fine with me and now click on next once again here you can see configure mysql server as windows service start my mysql server at system startup you can see if you want to do that i don't want to start it as my system startup so i'll uncheck it and now run windows service as standard system keep it as is and let's click on next from here server file permissions grant grant them the permission so i have just selected yes it was by default selected so i'll keep it as is and now i'll click on next so let's execute these as well writing configuration file updating windows firewall rules so we have to give permissions for this as well so click on next, execute It's done now let's click on finish again you can see the product configuration complete now click on next and from here what you can do is you can start mysql workbench after setup start mysql shell after setup i'll just start the mysql shell after setup so just click on finish and now we have to do one more thing for that we just need to go to the file manager and copy the path so that we can copy that to our environment so let's go to file manager file explorer and go to the c drive where the installation has occurred now go to program files from here we need to select micros uh, mysql here it is 
and inside there we need to go to mysql server 8.0 and then go to this folder bin from here just click here and you will get the path copy it and now search your environments so after that click on environment variables and go to the system variables scroll down and click on path here is that and add this new path that you just copied here by pasting and click on ok again once ok ok so we have now click here and type cmd and open it after opening it you can verify whether mysql has been installed or not by typing mysql and version it will show you here you can see mysql version 8.039 is installed now we can create we can get inside it by adding the username and password mysql hyphen u u is for username and p p as in password let's enter here it is asking for the password the password that i selected so this is the password just enter welcome to the mysql monitor as you can see we are inside mysql by supplying it username and password now we can show databases if it has by default show databases in semicolon here are the default databases let's create one database now so i'll create a database by the name top id guy and give it a simon column and click on enter so the database has been created here you can see query okay one row affected now again let's show databases and hit that semicolon once again here you can see top it guy is created okay so the mysql database has been created as you saw we now need to see where it is created on our machine for that we need to go to the program data folder of the installation so let's go to file manager and click on osc and inside here we need to find one folder where the database is stored for that we need to enable it it is hidden as it is a sensitive data from click on by clicking on view and click on show and then click here for hidden items now the hidden items are visible now go to program data inside that you need to go to mysql if you scroll down you'll find it here it is and now you need to click on mysql server 8.0 inside data you will find the database we created we created top it guy as our database let's give it permission by clicking on continue and here you can see this is the database that we created so our databases are stored here if you want to take backup you can take backup as well so this is what the program was now about workbench we also installed workbench so let's click on here and type workbench click here so the workbench has also started this is the root and the information just click on here it will start and here you can go ahead and type your queries i hope it is clear now if you have any questions feel free to comment below thank you